Line is brought to you by the Ford Motor Company of Canada. Tonight on the line, the Battle of Nova Scotia heats up at Centre 200. The Flames have another man on the hot seat, Mark Richards, against Springfield tonight. And Gary Souter sits out for four for attacking Korea tonight on Sportsline. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show, The Battle of the Jerseys Renewed. I'm Doug Basin. <laughs> and I'm Stacey Jones wearing my brand spanking new Cape Breton Screaming Eagles. Very becoming. Nice, huh? And that's to kick off the Battle of Nova Scotia. Well, the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles hosting the Halifax Mooseheads tonight. And we're proud to say our new Sydney Bureau and Peter and Joni were there mm. to uh, get the highlights uh, as we... Continue along, heading into the battle. The Cape Breton team is 2-1-1 one, one against the Herd, outscoring the Moose 15-6 in two victories at center 200. Here we go, Cape Breton shorthanded as we go to the highlights, but Captain Daniel Payette blocks his shot off to the race. Is cut off at the pass, but his shot beats Martin Bilodeau. A shorthanded goal. Bilodeau, not the best of his season tonight. Just a minute four later, still shorthanded. Here come the Eagles again. The Herd not thinking D. Payette breaks out. He takes it to the net for this shot. And on the rebound, Ryan Walsh, the Eagles' top scorer with 34 goals now. Two shorthanded goals, 2 nothing oh, after wow. one. Whoa, the Eagles. Second period, Moose win the draw, but then they turn the puck over. Who else but Daniel Payette there to jump all over it. Billado beaten again, 3 nothing, 2-28 into the second. Billado having a night to forget in the Herd's net, but Payette having one to remember. Walks out of the corner, puts it short side. The former Moosehead nets a hat trick against his old team. How good does that feel? 4 0. Less than a minute later, it's 5 0. Yet another odd man rush. Jonathan Gagnon uses Randy Copley as a decoy, takes it to the net. Why not? It's working. The Eagles turning this one into a laugher. Four minutes remaining in the period. Out come the Mooseheads. Billy Manley will turn back, leaving the puck for Freddie Belanger. He uh, shoots. It's tipped in front by P.J. Lynch, number 44. That ends Danny Lavoie's shutout bid. Lynch is fifth of the season, 5-1 after two, and way too little, way too late. The Herd lose for the eighth straight game, Stacey. Alexander Matthews, 27th, closes the deal. Payette, the star of the game, a hat-trick and an assist. The Eagles host Big Como Friday, Drummondville Saturday. The Mooseheads home to the Drakkar Thursday, and the Voltageurs Friday. And in the Battle of the Jerseys, Vason is getting his You're hand going handed down. to it. You're what going is this? Down. Is twice in the last a week or Isn't so. Isn't great? And it's man, nice to I see the Eagles win. win and win at well, home. The Eagles are kind of hot because they do okay at home and then they won one on the road the last time out. So they're looking pretty good and I'm going to have to start. Uh, I don't have to worry about cleaning the jerseys anyway <laughs> because sure. I don't have to wear them for very long. And it was good to be at Center 200 tonight and have the highlights to bring uh, to the Cape Breton fans you too. Betcha. Hopefully again in the near future. Yes. Well, we'll move on now. We'll go to the AHL, where the St. John Eagles earned their fourth win in five tries last night. Daniel Payette, a pretty pass to Samuel Paquette. It's a one-all game in the first period. The Eagles score three goals on their first six shots. 2-1 when Payette makes a nice move, then sets up Ryan Walsh for the first of his two in the night. 3-1 early. Martin Bilodeau gets the yank for the Mooseheads. Think he's happy about that? Nope. There he goes. But the Mooseheads do change their ways. Billy Manley busts down the wing, gets a backhand away, and scores his fourth goal in three games, 23rd in the year, 3-2 after one. Second period hit of the night goes to Simo Fuchu, who tries to help Samuel Paquette on a flying line change. Third period, Ryan Power working his way into the zone. Rookie Brandon Reed pops in his second of two goals past Danny Lavoy. 4-3 Halifax, but... Cape Breton doesn't stop working. Tatted for Ryan Walsh over to Jonathan Gagnon, and he stuffs it behind Joey McDonald. Cape Breton wins its first at the Metro Center. 5-4 is your final. Continuing on now at the Prospects game, it was the Eagles.
big win as uh, Bakemo, as I said, lost the...